What's up guys, it's me again, Crushed Pixel. Today I'm here with an update video on the backporting device that I'm using in my League of Minecraft map. And somebody of you said that I should give the player that is teleporting back slowness. And I actually already thought of that and I already added it. And I now hold the backport shovel in my hand and I get slowness and weakness so I can't do any damage while teleporting back but um, if I just put it out of my hand I can interrupt the backporting and yes and so I can run away if I see oh there's an enemy I should run yes okay and this is what it does and let me just show you how it works I do this I can move actually I'm holding the moving key but I yes I can't I can move while I'm on the ground and then I get teleported okay okay so I'll just teleport myself here to the redstone and I'm going to show you a little bit closer how this works somebody of you wanted to know this too and I like to listen to my subscribers so uh, this is basically just a clock and this is a comment block which is um, looking to enchant a shovel um, with the enchantment uh, 35 I think it's fortune or something and it tries to enchant it with the enchantment um, ID 35 and the value 0 so you don't actually get that enchantment but it's still trying to do so and you see if I hold it in my hand um, this comparator turns off and it's always looking for the one that has the backport test value to 1 or on the other ones to at 2 and so on because uh, it has to give them the effects and has to find out who is holding the uh, shovel in his hand and if this is deactivated this torch here can uh, get deactivated and activated by this uh, redstone signal that's hooked up to the clock and this just gives the slowness and the weakness effect always for one second and yes so and because it's slowness 6 I can't move at all I just can't yes and now I can move again okay and that's what what's happening first you get slowed and then um, this torch gets deactivated or no, this touch gets activated once you hold the item in your hand and it tells you teleporting you in 8 seconds and then this is a monostable circuit which just sends one signal and when this signal runs here through these 8 sec seconds repeater delay it's testing um, for the enchantment again so it looks if you have the shovel still in your hand and if this is uh, the end gate will be triggered so if if it's triggered there and it's triggered there so after eight seconds if you still hold it in your hand uh, it teleports you and it's just the same thing all around here just I am um, that I changed the required score of backport test to two and yes I'm going to show this in action you see here there's just this one single output and once it comes here the end gate was triggered and I was teleported okay I hope you enjoyed that video and I hope you understood it um, if you have some more tips for me or if you think I should add something to the game just tell me I'm going to add this I think and yeah so see you in the next video bye